Hi guys, it's me Mrs. Herzl and I'm here in my kitchen today to do a very special science experiment with you. All that walking in the park the other day got me thinking about ducks and a cool adaptation that they have that keeps them warm and dry in their natural habitat, the water. Are you ready? Let's get started. You guys remember that an adaptation is any trait that helps an animal survive in its natural environment. Ducks have a very special adaptation. Their skin excretes oil, which covers their feathers, making them waterproof and keeping them warm and dry in the water. We're going to see if we can recreate this adaptation using materials we can find around the house. Here are the materials that we'll be using today. The first thing you need is some kind of scrap paper to put on your surface so that it doesn't get wet or messy. I'm using scrap packing paper, but you can use newspaper or another type of scrap paper that you have at home. You'll also need some kind of paper to make two duck feathers. One we will be painting with oil, the other we will not. You can use white paper like I did, or lined paper, or colored paper, whatever you have. I have two paintbrushes here that I'll be using today. One of them is for painting oil onto one of my feathers, and the other one is for dropping water onto my feathers. If you don't have paintbrushes, don't worry. You can use your fingers for those steps too. You'll need some kind of cooking oil. I used vegetable oil, but if you have olive oil or canola oil at home, those will both work as well. And finally, you're gonna need some water. Gather your materials and let's get started. We'll be using two feathers today. One of them we will paint with oil to simulate the duck feather that has the natural oil. The other one we are gonna leave without oil to see what would happen if ducks didn't have oil on their feathers. So grab your paintbrush or use your fingers and we're going to dip it in oil and paint just one of our feathers and that's gonna be our duck feather. Now we have our two feathers, one duck feather covered in oil and one without oil. We are going to drop water on both feathers to see how the water reacts with the oiled feather and with the non-oiled feather. I'm gonna be using my paintbrush for this step but you can use your fingers to drop some water droplets onto each feather as well. We'll start with our oiled feather. Notice how the water hitting the oiled feather isn't soaking into the paper, but rather it's sitting on top like little water droplets. That's because the oil has made our feather waterproof. On the unoiled feather, the water is soaking into the paper and making it very wet. Here's a closer look at those two feathers. On the right side, you can see the oiled feather is still covered in water droplets, meaning the water has not soaked through to the paper. But on the left feather, the unoiled feather, you can see that the water has soaked into the paper and even made the colors from my marker bleed a little bit. That tells you that the oiled feather is waterproof, and the unoiled feather is definitely not waterproof. So as you can see, the adaptation of ducks oiling their feathers is really useful because it means water isn't soaking into their feathers and it keeps them warm and dry. What a cool adaptation. Thanks for doing this experiment with me. If you did it at home, make sure you ask a parent to upload a picture of you and your feathers to our class Facebook page. Link in the description. Bye guys.
you're first going to need something to cover the surface that you're working on. <laughs> <laughs>